going on, sorry, she here. The background of final. Hi, my name is Lali. My pronouns are she, her, also. Very good luck. And um, there's no one else. <laughs> Hi, my name is Daniel. Good luck. Thank you. Well, as you might know, we will ask for your name. Uh, you need to convert all your pronouns and the order when you, uh, how you are going to use your description. So, <laughs> let's start with proposition. All right, hi everyone, my name is Felipe. As far as pronouns go, I'm completely different. I'm going to be the first speaker. Hi, my name is And I'm Serge, I'm Emiliano. Um, my pronouns are in Spanish. For reply, my name is Ming Opposition. Um, hi, I'm Kevin, I'm going to be the first speaker, and uh, she her phone is Are you going to speak her? Uh, yeah, so the speaker, Leonardo, I'm going to be And reply. And third speaker, Andrea, and she her. So, uh, the best of luck, and to start this final, we call Felipe. Here, here. Uh, no, I guess I just started in three, two, one. All right, so first off, I'm going to give you some characterization, then I'm going to give you two arguments, the first one about quality of life, the second one about disabilities, and then I'm going to do a bunch of free rebuttal because we think that that's going to be really important throughout this debate. First off, defending why we need to go and into uh, investing heavily. So I think that it's really important that we talk about this transhumanism thing and why it is important that we invest heavily. First off, I'm going to give you the example of NASA and SpaceX, right? NASA, this company, has been invested in, like, a lot of money, but never enough. And they've never been able to really, truly, like, grow because they don't have enough money. When you look at, for example, SpaceX in the space of 20 years, because they had so much more money, they were able to make advancements that NASA could not even dream of. Also, this, the fact that we are investing a lot of money means that between these private companies that are going to be investing in, the, uh, in transhumanism, there is the sentiment of competition, super important, the sentiment of competition, because it means that we not only get better transhumanism, but we also get better technologies that will bleed off into vulnerable people. That's something that is going to be explained by Aranza. Also, it creates a feeling of safety. This feeling of safety is super important because it deals with the fact that some people may just not want to wait to join this transhumanism. They may not want to get surgeries, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we feel that this feeling that uh, uh, that allowing people to invest heavily into this means there's a lot more talk about it. Means that a lot of people are simply more inclined to accept transhumanism. Also, the fact that investing a lot of money means that things are going to be developed faster, which means that they are going to be cheaper in the long term. Right? Also, now. Uh, how do we limit transhumanism? This is something that is, uh, we believe is super important. First off, it is solely additive. Why is it solely additive? What, sorry, what does this mean? It means that you only add things to the body. You only uh, are going to be like, for example, adding a, a, a missing limb. You're going to be adding sensors to the body, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These are the only things that we are talking about, not anything that it has to do with removing. Second off is private investment. I've already talked about that. The third one is that it's regulated by the government. Super important. I believe that all of these types of activities need to be regulated by the government because that way we can avoid some uh, things that, that opposition is going to try to bring to the table. And uh, also, for these, these technologies of transhumanism I have to deal under the same principles as the health sector. What I mean by this, they make human, they make trials, they have to protect privacy and all of these things, etc., etc. Now I can move on to my first argument about quality of life. So we understand that transhumanism is just going to generally improve quality of life, address mental health, uh, 
challenges, and reduce suffering overall, as well as increase uh, as increasing well-being. Why? I have three mechanisms for this. The first one is just neuro sorry neurotechnological interventions, which are basically just the fact that you end up reducing the need for medication. For example, when you have a uh, an implant in the brain, you reduce the need for medications like Alzheimer's or simply for the pre for treatments like depression and all of these things because you can just deal with them mechanically within the brain. You also increase the likelihood of correctly diagnosing diseases, especially when you're talking about mental diseases, because you can understand precisely what is going on within the brain. You also help cure diseases, like for example, nanobot surgery when you are talking about a heart a clot in the heart, right? It is much easier to simply inject nanobots and have these do their thing and remove the clot than having open heart surgery, right? And all of these things, and I've already talked about, for example, treating things like Alzheimer's by, re by uh, having nanobots or things like this reproduce uh, neurons within the brain. I'll give it to you in a minute. Second, second off, we have just streamlining everyday interactions. Like for example, I can just decide to turn on the AC and just like do that from my couch. I can also just like call a cab. These are things that are more dumb, but I think are still important. Or simply like Googling stuff. I can just Google stuff from my head. I don't need to have a phone or stuff like that anyway. Uh, before I move into my second argument about disability, this is pretty short anyways, uh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, don't you think putting like uh, a sensor or something no, well, that's the thing. That's why we're going to be investing in this type of technology. That's why it is super important that we have these like clinical trials and we go under the same principles of uh, of um, health of the health sector, simply because of the fact that we can ensure that these things are not risky. And also, I mean, if you're talking about heart surgery, I think it's a lot more risky to like talk about opening somebody up and like literally opening their heart. I think we actually bring a lot less risk into the case, even if it were like extremely risky. Uh, moving into the uh, uh, argument about disabilities. Now, the thing is that with transhumanism, you are going to be able to literally cure all physical disabilities, and of course, depending on ethics, uh, just get rid of all disabilities. Now, what does this look like? It looks like simply bypassing broken nerves for somebody that was in a car crash and being able to make them walk again. It looks like changing out the eyes of a blind person and letting and letting them see for the first time. It looks like making deaf uh, fetuses, sorry, like making deaf fetuses be able to hear again before they're even born. I mean, these are technologies that are going to change the world, and investing heavily in them is extremely important. Now, now uh, why these things happen? We have uh, things like assistive technology. We have things like genetic intervention. At the lowest uh, of, of barriers, at the lowest of standards, you have things like VR, and you also have things, yeah, give me a minute, like uh, just simply like, uh, well, whatever. Go on. What happens is if, if this blind person can't afford this procedure? Yeah, okay, so that's something that I'm gonna deal with uh, throughout in a minute, but it's also something that Aranza is going to deal with in the third argument. It's exactly about this thing about accessibility, because we know that that's what opposition is gonna bring. They're gonna tell us, oh my God, nobody can afford it, and stuff like that. So before I do, before I finish off, I just wanna go into some pre rebuttals. So first off, we remove the risk of unforeseen consequences because we go under the same principles as the health sector with things like the well the equivalent of what would be for example a covid trial for you know the vaccine or having things like neuralink where you make uh, tests on other living beings on other things before you are able to implement it into human beings right also we remove the risk of ethical and existential concerns by investing in research for it if you're going to be investing in transhumanism you also need to invest in ethical and existential like idealism for these uh, types of concerns. So even if transhumanism is, doesn't like work at all, if, if like opposition tries to bring that, we still end up winning because we have a much deeper understanding of how we are, of what we are. We have a much deeper understanding of what is ethical and what is not. We have a much deeper understanding of our own existence. So already we end up winning right there. Uh, third, we deal with social inequality because we have uh, things like bleed off, like uh, the naturality of the tech market. I mean, when things uh, happen a lot, when these things are new, you end up simply having these prices trickle down. For example, in uh, what would you, what is these called? Like uh, solar panels, right? I mean, 10 years ago, they were super expensive. Now they're like dirt cheap in comparison. And they're gonna keep getting cheaper if that's something Adans is gonna get into. So just third, uh, sorry, last, we need to, we deal with any cost of opportunity that the House of Opposition tries to bring because we are already working with private companies that already have too much money. I mean, we're talking about companies like, well, people like Elon Musk, 
people like, uh, what's this, Jeff Bezos, we're talking about companies like BlackRock. These are the types of companies that will be investing in this type of uh just procedures overall. So what have I done? I've already like gone, like proven well, my burden of proof, which I didn't tell you, but it's basically just that we need to prove that we can make a betterment for humanity, just like overall in all sectors. And uh, well, I've already given you a bunch of reasons why House opposition just cannot win this debate. I've given you arguments about quality of life, about disabilities, and about simply just understanding the human uh, psyche and the human body. That's why we win this debate. And we call Karen Hihu. I think we will remind you um, after you are called. A minute to start the speech. Okay, before I start my speech, I want to thank Sedan for everything that I've learned about today, and I want to dedicate this speech to everyone. And well, I'm going to start my speech in three, two, one. The first thing that I'm going to do as first speaker of the side of opposition is first give you some repetitions about what the side of what the side of opposition said, and then I'm going to start give you a break, give us give you our principle. Then I'm going to give you our characterization, and finally I'm going to introduce to you our first argument called principle. Now let's start how the side of proposition only 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 talks about how this about their best case scenario. They don't talk about what happens if this investment goes wrong and what they don't ex explain to us how this huge investment, if it does, doesn't work, how does this affect them and how they still win to us or, or to our side of the house. So I think that they, them playing in their best scenario means, means that they need to talk about that a little bit more. For, and they also didn't give us, me, me, uh, they didn't give us mechanisms. People when talking to each other are going to accept it. That doesn't actually mean that's true. It's just means that it could be a controversial topic that everyone will talk about that doesn't necessarily mean that people will accept it and will be in favor of it. And there's a huge uh, thing that I, I will talk about as a proposition side of, uh, I said, not everyone can afford it. I think the side of proposition actually it talks about a lot of things in long term, but we need to talk about that right now. On short term, there are issues more, in, more important than, than having this huge investment on this techno materialism, I think that was called. I think that we need to, uh, that it's really important to talk, to talk on the short term and on the long term instead of just centering on, on one of them. And they are assuring that their procedures are going to work and that they will not be risky and that they will be cheap. You, on the side of proposition, they can't assure us anything. Why? Because first of all, these technologies don't exist. First of all, this will be a huge investment to the future, not to anything present. And it is going to, and this investment is for things to develop, to be created, not that they are created right now. So that just so they, in our side of the house, they can actually really uh, tell us uh, uh, tell us that uh, anything isn't risky. And I'm going to start uh, with our with our case. And the principle that we decided is in which side of the house is society better. And a very important thing is how does this heavy investment look like? As as this motion states, it's a huge investment. What does this mean? That it's a huge amount of money, and we believe that it's really important to. First of all, that the side of proposition never told us how they will achieve, to, how they will get this huge amount of money to make the investment. So that's a really important thing to talk about. And then we need to talk about how um, this would be a global thing. Why? Because talking about uh, this uh, this kind of development for humans and human and humanity, uh, it involves uh, everyone. It affects everyone because just of the fact of what being human would actually mean with this kind of development. Then we're going to talk, then I'm going to talk about how transhumanism is actually very futuristic and what I kind of stated with, with our reputation, it's how it doesn't exist and it's really futuristic so that on their side of the house, it's our, everything's going to happen on the future and on the long term. And then I'm going to talk about how, uh, since this is, would be a huge investment, this means that there would, these would be expensive procedures and it would be expensive to achieve. So this would mean that a lot of money that could be uh, used for other kinds of stuff, a huge amount, like, I don't know, 70% of the amount of my budget, I would say, you could say, would go into this transhumanism and 30% would go into other issues that could be as equal or, or even more important than so. 
I'm going to. And then we should talk about that they're on the status quo. Right now, there are issues that could talk about, that you could think about that are really more important. For example, you could talk about poverty, hunger, climate change, war, etc. And we believe that these are issues that are relevant to humanity right now and that should be and that there should be like money or there should be like people focused on them and solve them. And solving, solving them right now because they are important and they are relevant to humankind. And I'm going to start with our first principle, right? Our first argument that's called principle. And but before I start my argument, do you have any points? Oh, sure. I'm going to start with our first argument that's called principle. You look how the side of proposition is investing in a problem that doesn't exist. Why do we? What do we mean by this? It's that the money is in case on developing humankind what no what does this mean right now us as humans are, don't actually like have like don't need to focus on developing ourselves but we need to focus on the environment we live in right now why because us as humankind we want of uh, as the humankind as a human we want to live in the best world as possible what does it mean that we need to focus on our planet on our environment before focusing on this stuff because actually right now there there are issues right now that exist that we should focus on instead of focusing on just developing those things and instead of developing on that, on that, on those, sorry, on those things, because they are investing in a problem that doesn't exist. Look how transhumanism in the in the impulse line focused on how they would develop develop humans and their abilities, and that's really important to talk about. Like us as a human, as I am right now, I don't think that we have we we have that it's a necessity to develop. I think that it's a necessity to first of all, uh, like. Uh, and and hunger and poverty. I think that we can talk about how these issues right now are really important, are really relevant, and we actually should focus on those and those stuff instead of just developing like, as humanity. And we should talk about uh, again how the money doesn't appear from thin air. This means you're taking money away from other sectors that could be, for example, education. That could be healthcare. I'll take it in a second. That could be, uh, I could be jobs, etc. You're taking away that money because you can actually make the money appear from, from thin air. And since this is a huge invest, investment, you would take that money away from other sectors that are really important and really relevant for humanity. But before I continue my speech, yeah. um, transhumanist. I mean that it's, I don't think that's really uh, useful for us or to just depend on the private sector because you can't actually uh, confirm to us that they will invest on it, even if it's like new technology, etc. It's I think like as an investor, you would have to give them the incentives of why they should invest in this. And I think that to give them those incentives so that they can actually afford it, you can like say to us like 100%, Elon Musk is going to invest on this. You can actually secure that. So that means that you would actually take money away from other important stuff that are relevant to people. So I don't think that depending on the private sector of, of, of the people who are rich and who have that money, they could actually spend it on humanism. And I think in other side of it, in, in that case, they could also invest that money, for example, in healthcare, in helping people uh, for their jobs, et cetera. And before I continue, is there another thing? No, okay. Um, then, even if we don't take this money from important sectors, this money could have been used for actual problems that do matter. I, as I, as we say that we want to, uh, humanity to be in the best uh, case scenario as possible, we want to be, we want everyone to have food, we want everyone to have at least their basic needs, and we believe that it's more important that at least people have like their basic necessities instead of just in some amount of people uh, just could be developed because it's not even though it's a huge investment, it's still going to take a long process. It's not just because you have a huge huge investment; it's going to happen in one year, in one month. You don't guarantee us that, and until it becomes cheap. We know that this will happen, this is going to be a process, and at the beginning of things, the people who are going to be able to acquire these things are ne not necessarily the people who need these, but the people who can actually afford it. So you're actually not helping as much people as you thought you would, because it would be like in a long term, like from 10 to 5 years, that people that really need this could actually afford it. And at the end of the day, these things are going to be expensive, or even if they are cheap, it's not as easy to, for them to achieve this, because at the end of the day, it's going to take, it's going to take a lot of time to achieve this uh, this cheapness in which you, all your cases are based on because if it isn't cheap then all of you then all of humanity then a lot of people the most a big percentage of humanity won't be able to afford it and you won't be 
helping actually the people who actually need it and only the people who have the money would be able to access it and you won't be and you won't have that impact on our side of the house since we are busy like on problems that are actually existing we will repurpose things on on um hunger for example and that would happen and would have effects right now instead of just go because people who are suffering from that problem we will be directing on the Speech with Paul. Ada, here. So, the speech is going for my team. Yuval, Mal, I love you. <laughs> well, I will start my speech in three. Two, one. Panel, literally my science project for the school is to create a fabric nanotechnological that helps things in transhumanity. That means there is not a longer thing that it's just only happening in the future. It's something what we have in the hands more than the opposition house is stating. I believe that there is a problem about the arguments and how we can lead these in the house of proposition. Notice that the money comes directly for the private for the private sectors. Why is incentives for the private sectors to do this? Because of the retribution of the money they have. That means, for example, the best of like doing these kind of things like narrowing because they believe that this is something that in the future they will achieve more money. I believe there is this incentives for them to actually be fight for this and to bring this money for it. I believe that the things that opposition is telling is things like that really need to be because of the government, because of the things that government can achieve. When we have these kind of things like invested in these private sectors, I believe that we can have like take pressure for the government for things like investigation and all this medical and stuff that means that it's more important because now i can leave the government to do with this kind of things when the private sector is not going to lead directly with all the things about the opposition is saying because of the profitability that means that they don't find any retribution in like for example the earth and all this kind of stuff it means that we have more pressures to put to the government for to for achieve more like public services and all this stuff that affect directly for the opposition house that it's also telling that it's something pretty important something pretty fast i believe that this understand and this is told as the private sectors have more of a treaty to one fiscally safe more and have more specific treatments in terms of why this is important of why this is something we need to care about the thing that they say that their issues more important i believe that the problem is that these issues can be solved right now because we are like enough of technology that can solve these kind of problems like cancer like all this kind of stuff that with the new te well, with technologies that in the status quo are happening it is not enough to solve this these important problems that means that i don't know if it is to futuristic that means like the opposition house is feeling oh it's in 10 years that's pretty important because now i can fiscal see more the things that are important for the status quo the things for the opposition is pretty important i believe when uh, that i believe that this is less futuristic when we actively like do this investment i believe that this is important and that we do it in a healthy way, I believe because it's faster, I believe because it's important issues are solved in previous and faster way. I am going to take this rebuttal about the like the people that have less opportunities about the access with these kind of simple arguments about scientific and technological advance. I believe that this has two impacts in three specific people. I believe point number one in the scientific part, point number two, the ones that the actors that in that have this investment in transhumanism and the ones that don't have access or don't even believe that technology and this kind of things is pretty important. Notice the way it functions. Scientific and technological advancement invest in transhumanism fosters research and development or for like these rev revolutionary techniques. This not only benefits the specific field, but also drives innovations in areas such as artificial intelligence, biotechnology, and nanotechnology. These advancements have the potential to transform multiple industries and enhance the understanding on such things like body, industries, and material. By actually investing in this, notice that we allocate resources and funding towards this development. Why this is important? Because notice that many times the things are less affordable for people because there are only a few of these and there are not incentives for people because they can find or they are fighting with another thing that another company that is like actively investing in this. I believe because there are monopolies that control these kind of things that are less affordable for all the people. I believe because of two things. This means that they control more the prices because they don't mind if they have access to this 
they only have these incentives about the money, about this stuff. That means, in this case, when scientists are heavily investing on this, it's easier we can propagate this and in less time, how we lower the price. I, can, I have four mechanisms to understand and to prove why this is something in the future and not in the long future it can be solved. Point number one, because of the scale economies. This means that more production is less unitary cost and leads to the reduction of prices in the market. This is something that proves that this is that this that like pretty amount of things is going to help on how the economy is going to be in the future. Point number two about the efficiency and advancement. I don't understand my handwriting. Okay, I believe that it's easier to improve on this production on and scientific sectors because we are constantly taking into a proof and never think. I believe this is so important because now the production is more specific, but also I believe that we have two things more: the competence and the market. Now incentivize me as a company to to make the price more affordable because more people now want to access about these stuffs. I believe that this is pretty important because that proves that if there is still a sense of competence, this proves that these companies, this industry that are going to sell these are the ones that are going to have to put less prices for them to affordable because I don't have the monopolios that we have in the opposite house. I believe this is pretty problematic and that means because we have more demand and that it's pretty the same the way it goes for why we can lower the prices in the long future. Yes. Breweries right now are too expensive and just for privileged people, and they have been developed since 1,000 1, years ago. The thing is, now that I have more scientists helping in this, I believe that this is point number one, more focused in the status quo. I believe that more scientists can come because of terms of this competition. I believe it's easier for scientists like to develop and to go together. I believe this is an easier way. I believe that the cost and opportunity that opposition has decided is now we are competitive because I don't think that it, this is heavily increasement. And I believe that they don't understand that the problem is that nowadays more people want to talk. I believe that this is a problem because this is not solved in this time. But now I wanted to talk about how we have another impact for the people that don't believe in this but still have a better life. I believe that, as I told you, this investment requires a lot of investigation and how the body works. That means not only will serve for transhumanism but also for diseases and all this kind of stuff in the medical sectors. Like, for example, advances in technology in our world, this is a significant improvement in terms, for example, of having the ability to change these genetic disorders because they can change these genes. I believe that this means that we have another perspective as the science offers to enhance new doors of problems and how it was solved. That means that I have more opportunity about the improvement in terms of capacitation and education and how this is seen and how it's been resolved. I believe that this is going to happen because this is probable to arise to all hands. I have two mechanisms to prove why this is probable. I believe that in nowadays, the people don't like the intelligence artificial like ChatGPT or this kind of stuff because they believe there is no necessary things to have it or like they have fear about this. I believe that this is a problematic mindset for these kind of things. I believe that in the medicine is something that we want to change because of the things. Point number one, because of reputation. Point number two, because of physicalization and access. I believe when these medicine things start, I am going to now physicalize more things like education because I want more people to understand what is the way this is working. That is important to me in terms of, I don't know how many times, okay, in terms of how they are going to access to these technologies that I am developing. I am not only worried about developing the, the technologies if not people want or have the confidence to go with me and have this kind of treatment. I believe that this enhanced that technology must arrive to everyone, but I also just already explained the way it is going to be cheaper in a pretty fast way that is not going to happen in the opposition house. Wait, this is problematic because I think it's because of the foundation of our irreversibly. I don't know how to say it in English. Because I believe that in, in this time when we don't have this technology nowadays or this heavily investment, that means that I have point number one to spend more time in this, like actually finding the way to put. And I mean that this is not like the best thing because I need to enhance another things of perspective and I showed you that with these things like putting more and more efforts of tech nanotechnology and these things also help me for the science to understand the way the body works potentially how the other things and how the medicine arrives for the most vulnerable people we have access to these technologies I believe that this is pretty important it's going to continue with actually with again with Emiliano's speech and I believe this is pretty important because now we are addressing every problems that now as I the opposition is not going to take about Thank you, Adan and Tal, for that amazing speech. And we call Leo.
Island so first panel, I, what I want you to clarify is that the proposition team is just playing in their base scenario of this motion. They're just assuming literally all their case is based um, on that this like this literally this procedures, this investment is like just going to function. They're assuming that this procedures are like going to work and that they're going to they're not going to be risky and they will be cheap. Uh, that uh, all the people blind in the world is going to have access for this, and they're like, just assuming that this is going to happen. Why? Because eventually the, the things go the things go cheap, and the things are like just being cheaper, and all the people can have access to this, and that's like all the mechanism that they're, like, they're like just telling to us. No panel, how they're like visually basing their, their case, their, their case, and it falls when people are like in their in, when we talk about the livings, Not only people like are in favor of these technologies. Not only people. Uh, trust these technologies. Not all the people like we like 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 to make these changes, make these procedures as as you like first risky, but second it, uh, maybe it goes against my my beliefs. And there are only mechanisms for this like to, for this to happen that pe all the people are going to evolve together. Is like people are are going to talk to each other, and then people are going to accept the transhumanism. So first, I would, I would like to rebuke the private sector that they are talking to us. First, they're, they're, they're telling to us that, and, and well, at the same time, like reconstruct a bit of my first argument. So I would, as I was telling you, they are saying that the private sector is like going to invest in this. So if we if we talk about the private sector, we're well, taking like for example Elon Musk, etc., etc., etc. So yes, maybe Elon Musk has the incentives to invest in this. But no, panel, how when when we put this private the private sector to invest in these things is when we get a, like a more like it's more likely in this side of the house to have this more of monopolio that they're talking about why because when we have like some like only like for example i don't know a spacex that is like just investing in this kind of trans trans uh, transhumanist like things note panel how just because of, of the capitalist system that we live in Elon Musk has an uh, well and just because the, the the incentives that they are like talking about like Elon Musk wants to to get this capital uh, benefit just know just notice panel how this like is just affecting in their side of the house to people Be why because this makes this monopoly and there's there are more incentives for them as they're the, the only the, the only people that are like developing this these transhumanist things there are more incentives like just not to not maybe reduce the prices of the of the manufacturing or the things like that but for the people to raise the prices as they're the only the only the only sector the private sector that can develop them they can develop it. Why? Because the because they're, the public sector is not doing this. Yes. Panel in a POI, I already told you what, how literally right now there's like as a competition of uh, who makes like surgeries, etc., etc., etc. And know how like surgeries have been developing like. 1,000 years ago, and right now, a people that is blind cannot have. Not only people that is blind cannot have access to this. Just they're literally not saying, not 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 biting the bullet when they're saying that the only people is going to have access to this, and yes, they're going to be cheaper. It's like okay, they're going to be cheaper, but really, all the people is like going to have access to this. They're like literally the, the, not not buying the bullet. They're literally the, not accepting that in their side of the house. Not all the people is going to have access to this. So then I, I'm going to to. to Continuing with my speech and with my first argument, that is the lack of functional functionality and and what is it what is it wrong in the practice? So first, we'll prove to you what is it wrong in the practice when we understand that it is like not functional, that this is risky and this is an investment that can that can like that they, well yes it's risky and because it's just hypothetically etc etc etc. This has two lines of analysis. First, the accessibility. Notice panel how these are probably such expensive technologies that they're like, that they're talking about that don't do not exist yet, so they have to be developed and they're and they're they they have a, a lack of accessibility in the economic way, but also it, when we refer uh, also in the Bolivian's way and also in, in the part when we talk about not all the people living in the in the in the city, for example, with, where there's well, for example, the surgeries. The surgeries are like able for the people. No, no, no panel. How when we talk about intersectionality, there, there's like people that, that live in, in in some like marginalized sectors that are not having the, like, that are that are not able that, are, that this like for example surgeries are like not accessible for them. Not only because they don't have the money, but also because they cannot like go to this bit to this like. To this place, but also they're like not going to this place to these places to have these transhumanist like uh, procedures, etc., etc., etc. Because as we are all as we already talked to you, there are a lot of people. This is a very like 
polemic um, ideal. Why? Because it talks about the evolution with the with the technology, etc., etc., et So we can we can, in an opposition side we cannot understand how the proposition is like go to okay. So let's talk about it. Oh yeah, we all we all accept to have like these transhumanist ideas. And no panel that how this is, even if that was like like. Correct, like that, those are the necessary mechanisms to prove that. Not help at right now. There are many people like with buildings, etc., etc., et that do not accept this type of procedures that, that are like against of this. So, why does this matter, panel? The trans they're literally yeah, like just forgetting what the transhumanist idea like is about. That is like just to evolve and when and, and have this perception that the human is going to evolve and progress in the future. With with this like technology, so they're going to be better. Know how you how when you like promote this, you are like promoting this narrative that only the, that, that the people that is like getting these transhumanist procedures are get are, are are better than the people that are not. So no panel how when when we note that that we notice there are people that are not willing to take this risk first, but second that are not willing to 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 make this procedure because of believing us because I don't have the money, etc. 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 They're just being more man marginalized. There, there ain't to be like more margin, marginalized for, for people, for the privileged people that yes, have do access, do, that yes, they do have access for this, and they ain't to be they, to marginalize more to, to to these groups, these marginalized groups, and to be more marginalized as they're like literally, it's like you're like less, you're so less, no, you're than me because first, like you're like you have less privilege than me, but second, you are not evolving because you don't have a achieving implant in your in your mind. So I would just want to literally uh, uh, reconstruct like a bit in the, in the part of principle. Why is this wrong in principle? Well, first, as my as my first speaker already told you, this is wrong in principle because even if private sector is investing in this, we will we will like like this huge investment to to prioritize the the the, the things that. That really matter in the in the present. But second, these procedures, as we already told you, it maybe are most are more are so probably to be so dangerous and to risk the, the, the lives of the people. Why? Because actually, right now the surgeries are, are have like a lot of people open and they and they right now have a, a risk of of being like of lose your life and risk your, your health and that. And they're like just literally saying that no, in the our side of the house, there's not going to be risk. There's the, they, the these things are going to solve literally everything because we say so and because and because literally transhumanism is like is not not the idea to evolve, but it's the idea just to like solve all the humanist uh, all the all the human problems. And they're like just literally not proving to us how this happens in their side of the house and how in, in our side of the house this does not happen. And at the end of the day, we want a world when people literally are not being marginalized, not because of their economic and privilege, but also because, but also because in their house, their sort of house are being marginalized, also because there are people that have, that do not have access to this to these transhumanist ideas, or even are not taking it because of her ideals, etc., etc., etc. That would be all for me. Um, Primero que nada, dedicatorias abiertas. Gracias, Javier. Mm -hmm. I'll start my speech in three, two, one. Okay, panel, this is what I'll be doing uh, during my speech. First of all, I will give you a brief summary about what has happened uh, during the debate. During this summary, I will be reporting you uh, all of the things that uh, the House of Opposition has told you, and I will structure your case, uh, as well as uh, uh, I will uh, I will end uh, waiting and showing you why my world is better than theirs. Okay, first of all, it enters the uh, it enters my 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 first speech to uh, characterize you uh, the investment, uh, how to limit uh, this uh, transhumanism, the regulations, and so. Some principles uh, that the, that this uh, this transhumanism will work with the same principles as the as the health sector nowadays. Uh, he entered my first argument about the quality of life uh, dis and disabilities. Then the, the first speech entered, telling us first, what if the, the investment goes wrong, and we are working in our best case scenario? Okay, that's easy to answer. First of all, uh, in a, if our if our investment, okay. 
Once everyone is actively investing, the probability of failure is minimal. And even if one of those investments fails, there will be a hundred more investing in transhumanism. So this failure of investment won't, uh, won't affect my world. I will give it to you in a second. Then they tell me some, something about accessibility that not anyone would, uh, would afford it. But I'll be telling you. Okay, I call this uh, argument of them about inequality and social division first. While it is true that there is a possibility of creating inequalities through the adoption of transhumanism technology, it's essential to recognize that, ad that advancements in tech in technology uh, often become more, more accessible over time, as my first speaker told you. As technology progresses and becomes more widespread, costs tend to decrease, enabling broader access and reducing socioeconomic disparities. Furthermore, proactive measures can be taken to ensure equitable distribution and affordability for these enhancements, such as government regu regulation and subsidies, just like they subside the gas mm. uh, Then, they, t they, tell us, uh, they, they told us about the risk and I also, uh, I also have a, an answer for this. I call it health and safety risks. All, all technology advancement, advancements t carry on a risk, okay? Uh, carry some level of, of risk. But that doesn't mean, that doesn't negate their potential, their potential benefits. Transhumanist technology can undergo rigorous testing, uh, regulation, and continuous improvement to mitigate risk and ensure safety. Additionally, the development of robust pro protocols, secure cybersecurity measures, and comprehensive regulatory frameworks can address wow. concerns and provide safeguards against potential health and safety and safety risks. Then, the, then they entered to tell to told us something about that we need to take care more about the status quo problems, the environment problems, uh, poor poor uh, poor problems, uh, climate change problems. Okay, first of all, transhumanism. Let's understand that the existence of, trans of transhumanism may let us solve those problems with the main, the main existence and the investment in it. How? First of all, transhumanism will, let, will, will give us more intelligence. More intelligence, we can solve more problems. And even if we didn't get more intelligence, we could get more solutions, more material solutions to get, uh, uh, to get the, the, the possible solution. <clears throat> uh, then they, they told us about the... Okay, I... Something about this uh, natural ad adaptability to bigger issues. Okay, transhumanist te technology can enhance human adaptability by providing tools and, capa and capabilities that enable individuals to overcome challenges and thrive in various environments. Rather than hindering natural adaptability, these enhancements can empower individuals to adapt more effectively to changing circumstances, changing us, such as, uh, such as climate change or even space exploration or poverty, well, biological limitations may pose significant obstacles, just like we live nowadays in the status quo. <clears throat> uh, then they, they tell us that we live in the, in the long-term scenario. Okay, we are living in the term case scenario, just when we understand that the, the transhumanism is already working in all terms of life. But let's understand that, t t that transhumanism already exists nowadays. But if it hasn't been open to the public, it's because of the narrative that nowadays exists, such as the narrative that all of you are uh, are protecting. So if we understand that nowadays is actually is actually working nowadays, if we uh, accepted it, it would it would be bigger and it would help us all. Help, help us all. Okay, Aranza then entered, telling you and showed you why the private uh, sector won't take care of the of the bigger issues they, they mentioned because of money earnings, and and I even show you that if those important issues are are that relevant in the in the in the debate, transhumanism uh, may solve may solve them, covering those issues by adapting us or, or changing those issues and advancing in human in human capabilities. Aranza showed you that because of the scale production of the center of, of, of competition of the private sector, of the efficiently and abundance, and the and because of their own understanding of the technology and education, my world will be a much better, a much better world. Uh, okay. Then the their second speaker entered to tell us a la, there will be a lack of, of functionality, that's how, how they call their argument, and that not all the people live in the city. And I mean, answer to that, even if that happened in my world, this transhumanism would incentive these people who not live in the city to look for the transhumanism and access it, going to the cities and adapting the rural, the rural places Why? to a city. Okay, now give it to me. 
okay, what if my beliefs don't like permit me to, to go to have this uh, transhumanist? Uh, okay, uh, I believe that the, the same thinking that your grand 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 grandfather had when the cars were, were invented. And how do we live nowadays with cars? <clears throat> so now let me weigh you let, let me weigh you panel with uh, health versus nature. Uh, I believe the the advancements in in health will be better than the nature than, than the natural way we're living now. Why? As Felipe told you, the quality of life will, will improve in my world and in, and it's and it's uh, only in my world. Why? Because in my world we're living on the around a technological investment where investment continuously uh, makes an improvement in technology, an improvement in health, an improvement in, in so many problems. So I ask the, 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 opposition, the opposition side, what if your mom needed a sensor to, to be alive? Would you dare to say no to that, to that sensor or would you dare to say yes just because you think it will be risky? <clears throat> then I will, I will weigh you the short term, the short, my short term world versus the, the short term world. My short term world is uh, companies will start to, to invest. Government will start to, to have regulations. Government will start to control this sector as it understands that this sector would be growing up. The, the health would be, would be improving, security would be improving, uh, and person would be understanding this technology and in, 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 this, in this process. In the world, it's like as, as the status quo. We have bigger problems, just as climate change, health problems that we are not solving and we are not looking for any solutions and we are planning to solve them in a future long, long term. While my long term of these solutions is a lot lower than, than theirs. So I can weigh you why my security, my survival, my peaceful my mindset, my, my health is much more important for me than, than living in, a, in the status quo where I cannot solve anything of it. Thank you. La transmisión ya valió, eh, que se quedó en primer lugar. César. La transmisión dejó de transmitir hace como me quedan 20 segundos. Okay, so my time starts in three, two, one. Okay, panel, what I'm gonna do in this page are two things. First of all, I'm gonna refute the other team's case and then I'm gonna reconstruct our case. Start with the main points that I found in this debate. First of all, they come and tell us that the knowledge that we'll be, got, be blah, 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 that we will be getting using this um, technology will be just like we could share it to the government. That's something that specifically the first speaker said, but nothing assures us that that knowledge will be shared to uh, the government or whatever, so their point falls apart. And then the, the second speaker comes and uses a keyword that it's belief. His speaker just believes that, they, that uh, it will work and that everything will be okay since they're playing their best case scenario. And they're just saying like, oh sure, it, everything will work, it will never have fails. And they're just like implying that because peop more people invest in it, nothing will fail, which is a complete fallacy. Because how are, are, can they assure us that if something is completely invested, it won't fail? Things fail, th things stop working, so that mechanism doesn't really prove anything. Now, they talk about how in their, their blah, blah, blah. they talk about how their long, in their long term, it, it will like it will happen long term but also short term but in the long term it's like how much like technologies take a lot of time to develop because they need to be tested and even if the example that the second speaker brought about it being like a science project or whatever that doesn't assure us that it will work 
but because one, it needs to be tested in people, it needs to be tested in people so that it will work and that it will achieve the things that they need to, that, that they want to achieve and the things that they want to achieve aren't easy and aren't completely like easily done. So how they never assure us how in the long term and how in the short term they're gonna get to be there. Then they come and say that being smarter will solve more problems, one thing to prove it, and two, that that they are smart doesn't mean that they're gonna want to solve problems. So that actually is like really weird, just wanted to say it. Then how will your quality of life be better if there are so many other problems that aren't being tackled? Now, that's something that we as um, as opposition talk a lot about because they're just like centering in like in the healthcare, obviously, right? But how we need to stop to think that if that investment goes to a, to the health sector, it will actually be like evolving health, and it doesn't need to be something so radical and so so. But they also come with with an example that states that if like your mom needs like a chip, I don't really remember the exact. Thing. I don't really remember the exact uh, example, but if your mom needs like a chip to survive, would you deny it? Would you like say no to it? But they're just focusing like really, 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 really rare cases and really specific cases, and they're just not focusing on like everything that happens to the status quo. Now, um, the other thing is that not everyone will agree to these technologies. Not everyone will want to do it, and in the short term more people will not want to do it just as their speaker said about the cars, right? In the short term, not a lot of people will want to do it. And with that example, they just end up like like denying their own case because they're just saying like everyone will want to do it. That's how they will that's why they will invest and that's how it will work. But then they come to us and tell us that in the long like at first not everyone will like be okay with it just like cars. And that way they cannot prove to us that in the short term it's gonna work and people are gonna invest in it. No thank you. Now they um okay so health procedures are dangerous enough sometimes yes we agree that but putting like none of us inside of someone is like way more dangerous than right now and it needs a long time to be developed and to be tested and they never prove why putting none of us is just better than the health things that are right now now they never prove how they would create such like radical things and radical changes because they don't exist right now sure like some kind of influence exists but like the amount of technology and the reach they want to like achieve is not it doesn't exist and they never prove how to do it then they they come and, say, and tell us that if scientists if scientists invest and talk about it Everyone will know it, and everyone will be we agree with it, which is not which is not true because the scientists in bed doesn't mean that everyone will be agree with it, and that everyone will know about it because also getting to know everything is actually takes a lot of time. Now they never prove how people will be more interested, and they also never come to us and tell us what would happen if it doesn't work. They play in their in their best case scenario, and even though my first two speakers is stated multiple times, they never do it. They come to us and tell us that they're not that they're gonna function all the time because everyone will invest in it and that's completely wrong. They never can come to us and tell us a solution of what would happen if it doesn't work and if the money is completely risky to them and what happens to them lost money, whatever they never bring us mechanisms to like prove us that. And they also don't like never play in their they never play in the worst case scenario because what happens if no one wants to use them or only a few people? What will happen with the money that's assured for the for the company to be gotten? What happens then? What happens if no one agrees with it? They never prove it. Now, our principle, which they never reputate, so they accept, is we're society better. And in our side of the house, it's better because one, we're not um, creating a narrative where if you like um, become like use this trans technology, you are better because then that narrative will exist because let's face it, we are people. And second of all, they're never like actually engaging with the fact that the motion clearly states and the info like clearly states that we're talking about people evolving to people evolving to be better. They're not engaging with them. They're just saying it will like um solve like the, the health problems, but it means evolving and evolving is not just having that. Evolving also comes with other things, but even if we bought whatever they brought and if so few people will be able to evolve because they never they never managed to tackle our argument about um accessibility they never managed to show us how it will actually be accessible to everyone but even if it was accessible to most people then we'll be still creating a narrative that if we have that uh trans technology we are better and people who don't they're not better now moving on with the reconstruction of our case it's showing a little bit of what happened on this debate first of all proposition brings us uh an argument called quality of life, which I already um, refuted it, but why is quality better, quality of life better in our side of the house? It's better in the side of the house because one, we don't, uh, we don't like hugely invest 
on the and that technology that one is not proved to actually work but um here I, no thank you there's not that uh, we don't invest we don't highly invest on technology that's one not proved to work but two we can actually end up creating an, a, a narrative that will be damaging to people and then our first argument is that in principle it's wrong because if you hugely spend on problems that aren't really like to, if uh, humanity doesn't have the problem of, of evolution we already are evolving and that's how it's happening if they're trying to tackle a problem that doesn't really exist well there are a lot of other problems their quality of life in the world in the world is not actually true then we bring another argument that's about practice and that how it's work in practice and how the one is not really accessible because let's be honest there are a lot of technology is really um expensive but even if it became like accessible in a short period of time the the being that the, those surgeries or whatever you want to do aren't just like easy to like put the infrastructure in a country or whatever but even if they could put those that infrastructure and a lot of people could access it that they never assure us how it's they don't take they don't take into consideration the risks and even if people would like to take those risks they don't they like they don't show us what they would do if those risks happen and in that moment humanity is better in their side of the house and since they never refuted our principle we are winning this debate so with that i will be ending thank you and to start with the reply we call leonardo So first panel, I would like to clarify a literally older case, older from the crazy uh, proposition we've been seeing. This first the uh, uh, best case scenario, and they will literally never like finding the bullet when for, when this is like not accessible at all for all the people of, uh, for all the population. They literally are saying that yes, this is going to be accessible for all the people, etc. etc. Et et because because things get cheap and all the things get uh, are accessible for all the people eventually. There's no problem with how we literally created this when we are telling you to you that, for example, actually surgery, the actual surgeries are not accessible for all the people. But but even another example, for example, cars are right now like privileged are a privilege for people. There's like surgeries and no panel how they what they did what they had to do in this debate is just to buy the bullet and say like yes, well this is like not accessible, but etc. 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 No panel how they're just saying and they're proving to us how this is going to be accessible like for all the people and how like uh, for example the, the, the people that have a, a, in, a living in, a, in extreme uh, like poverty situation is like get blind and like oh yeah I'm going to go to this to these clinics and have these transhumanist procedures because I have the money etc etc etc. But then but then panel we also gain the the the, the this point of the accessibility when we're talking to you so okay a case. Oh, it's like okay, yes, that, that is going to be economic, economically accessible. But even if that was like correct, at least even if you have like infrastructure, there's like no infrastructure like in, in, in a lot of places like right now in Mexico or in, in the world, like like for having like hospitals, like like in the in the towns, the small towns, etc., 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 and people are like are not likely to 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 go to, to the cities, to the urban areas because they're like. So you, you know, you, I have to pay the transport. I have to like go to this place, and then I have to pay for these treatments, and then and then my life my life is like just going to be like extremely better because that's how the because that's how the, the their their side works because all the all the things are going to be better and we are like we are uh, perfect etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So they're going to they're talking about the private sector, and we so we already to prove to you how the private sector will be more likely to be like uh like more like uh. 
to be more and more mon monopoly. But even if that was wasn't true with their like the competence, etc., 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 there these these uh, these these enterprises literally uh, literally don't, do not have like the 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 incentives like to to have these like so cheap 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 as they're like investing a lot of money as just my third speaker told you because like, as, are, as they are investing a lot of money they want to get to have this recovery so they, they are like literally not having it so they have no incentives like this just to like make them like like make them like so cheap 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 and they're like literally saying like the quality of life they like literally in this argument is like just say just say like he's going to function why because technology function eventually and because of that we are going to be perfect and this is like just going to work no panel how they literally never bowling fighting the bowling in all the, their case as they're like literally just not accepting that this that this have a risk normally in all the surgeries and all the procedures and that we are like risking people and incentivizing this to do it but second all the older literally all the older case is based on the way that people are going to do it so we literally we repeated that when we talk about that just talking to people is not going to they're not going to accept, accept this because they have like religions for example and they have the livings that is like you know i don't i will not let technology to enter in my body for example and just because of that they're they're we're literally supporting these narratives there is uh, with the transhumanists like like this ideal of, of being evolved and being like better than the others is like you know, i don't want yet Panel, I prefer a world where we don't have this narrative and marginalizing more the people that like literally are like I don't want this in my body, I don't want this because uh, because of my believings. We prefer a world where where this money is like uh, not risked at all because as we already told you, it is not likely to happen. And we're yes. That's what we're talking about. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Our strategy was not to talk about transhumanism. We put it in the back foot, not really care about it. Now, why have we done this? Well, because we decided to prove that even in the case that transhumanism outright doesn't work, like not a single person decides to actually use the technologies that these companies invest in or whatever, we still win. Now, how did we do that? Well, we brought you things like ethical and existential research. We brought you things like advancements in AI, biotech, and nanotech. We brought you things like accessibility of current tech. We brought you things like freedom and access of information that doesn't depend on any infrastructure. We brought you things like the development of traditional technology and the uh, increased access to these traditional technologies. And we've also brought you things like more access for all of those people who are the most vulnerable. Now, when we talk about all of the things that prop, that House opposition tried to bring, like these whole things about the status quo and how there's problems, and like the climate and these things, we believe that this is like completely out of the debate. Why? Because I mean, these are problems that simply private sectors won't solve, at least on their side of the house. I'm going to explain in a minute why we've already shown you that we kind of do solve it. At least. When they talk about like the fact that things fail and they talk about the fact that we just assume everything. I need you to understand that we have never assumed anything throughout this debate. We've given you proof, we've given you mechanisms, and we've given you examples for every single point we've made. So, I mean, it's completely ridiculous to talk about things like this. Now, when they ask us questions about, like, how will your, your quality of life be better if there's problems in the status quo, we still end up winning because if anything happens that makes your quality of life just a tiny bit better, we still have better quality of life where as they say with their uh, question or their principle about where is society better, we still end up bringing better quality of life. We make society better. Even if it's by the slightest amount, we win. Also, I mean, I need you to look at both worlds, right? So they end up defending the status quo. Uh, you know, at most, they talk about investing in other things, like in other problems, like let's say the climate or whatever. When you weigh these things, like when, what they've said, Versus what we've said, like completely, especially when you look at long term versus short term, we end up winning the debate as well. Why? 
because every investment that they talk about is also long term. So we just bring just more things in the same amount of time. I already talked to you about those things that we bring. Not only that, the real the real case is defending the status quo, which we already understand is bad. They've proven that it's bad. Now, if we talk about other things like the fact that well, not only have we won because well, we took apart their arguments, every single one of them. But we've also won because we've proven you that we increase quality of life and that we make this cheap because of things like competition. We've proven to you that we help people with disabilities, that private companies do these things because they have incentives like reputation and visibility and simply just monetary incentives. Not only that, but we've also proven to you how we make advancements in many technologies, how we increase the accessibility of all of these technologies for everybody but we've also won because we offer change. Opposition already told you that the status quo is bad. They've already told you that nothing can work and everything is terrible, that there's problems. Any change, however small it is, that we provide to you, we still win this debate. Thank you. Amazing final. Congratulations. Uh -huh. <laughs>